Hi everyone, it's Ben here from Artless Ordinary. So, tonight I'm going to do something I've wanted to do but I've been nervous is a kiss pour in oranges and purples. So, I know those colours look good next to each other but they don't look good blended. So I'm hoping they don't mix and I get a really nice um, pattern without them actually blending into each other. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I do want to quickly show you my Dutch paws have dried. So that's how a couple of them look. Um, they're quite different. There's a lot of flow troll in these. So as you can see, there's tons of lacing and only bits of solid, solid colour. But um, I like them, they're quite pretty, and the gold is shimmering when it, the bits that are in there. But yeah, so they've finished drying, so I've got them aside now. But on with this. So, in the orange side, I'm going to have wattle, which is a yellow, um, orange from global, and warm yellow, which is kind of between orange and yellow. So I want it to be mostly orange, but with I need other colours in there to kind of give it a good pattern. Otherwise, it's just one orange. Like, yeah, you know what I mean. You've got to have some type of contrasting parts to it. So that's one side. Now, the other side is going to be ultraviolet, purple, and I mixed purple and white together to make a light purple. So that's that one. And I've also mixed up um, black and white. I haven't got much black. And I'm nervous about putting the black on the same side as the orange. I might just put little bits in it, but not a lot. Because it will change colours. The white I'm going to use um, more of. Just to break up the solid colours of it. So I'm hoping that it just gives me nice patterns. This is one I'm not really going to know what it's going to look like until I've done it. And it could be wonderful, it could be a mess. So sometimes you just got to do it and hope for the best. So I'm going to pour these in quite random, um, like I'm not going to put like half of this in and half the other. I'm just going to put small amounts in at a time. And see how it goes. So these are mixed with flow troll at approximately 30% paint, 70% flow troll. And I say approximate because they are different consistencies, so some of them I changed a little bit, but they're still relatively thick. So and I'm also going to kind of pour it at a little bit of a height to try and get them colours to mix up a little bit. I don't want them to be too... Um, I don't want it to be too layered. I really want it to be a little bit of a, a mixture. We're just going to have to go with it and, like I said, see how it turns out. Add a bit of white. So the white is just to break the colours up a little bit. I'm still nervous whether I want to put any black in or not. I do, but I'm kind of scared. I might put the black when I don't put yellow. So I might put some more orange in. Then I'll put a little bit of black. Unless you do experiments with certain colours, you, you're really not too sure how it's going to work out. And sometimes you've got to do a painting like this and then go, that's good, but I could have done it if I left out this colour or if I had about that colour. So we're just having fun. Trying out bits and pieces. Which is what it's all about, really. 
enjoying yourself. To me, this is what I do after a busy day at work. I can come home and just have dinner, do dishes, and then do a painting. And I'm not sure if I've got too much paint, not enough paint. I'm not sure. So I used about 15 grams of paint with 35 grams of Floetrol. And again, that is an approximate because sometimes if I get out a little bit of extra paint and it just goes to 17 grams, then I, I don't stress about trying to put those two grams back into the um, bottle. I just mix, I just increase the flow troll by a little bit more and just go with it. So as you can see, I was pouring it from a height, but it doesn't always sink through. Depending on the weight of the paint at the time, how much comes out. The heavier it comes out, the more likely it's going to sink and push through the other colours. Especially when you get to the end, it doesn't really do that. And these are relatively thick. For a 70-30 mix, I was actually expecting them to be a little bit more thinner, but they're not. So in the garden, when I do my gardening, because I'm a horticulturalist, I use oranges and purples together a lot but in the garden they don't mix as they're separate plants so you don't get that brown mud that you get when you do painting so I'm hoping that doing the kiss pour they'll stay separate without becoming too muddy that felt heavy So that's the only issue I have with some of my paints being older and some being newer. <clears throat> There's definite thickness differences. As some of the paints got older, they really do thicken up a little bit. And I had to make more of, I had to add more white into this one because it didn't become light enough. So I may have some of that left over. Now the black, I don't mind adding into the purple. I think that's going to give it more contrast. The, the um, It doesn't change the color of purple like it does a yellow or an orange. So I used to layer all my colors at one time. But lately I've actually been having fun doing the non-layering part where you just pour it in and see how it goes. So that's the, the fun of trying out different things really. And again, like I said, this is a way of knowing I may go, nah, that was the worst mistake I ever did. I should have layered them. that's enough black so this cup is virtually full so I'm just going to put a little bit more white in
and then that's it, we're done. So I just move these cups with, there's little bits of paint left in these cups, so I may do a coaster or something afterwards. I like to not waste it all and just do, um, I just buy lots of coasters when I see them at the shops on special and I just use them with the excess paint so otherwise you end up with cups everywhere like you end up with cups with little bits here and little bits there and they seem to multiply and accumulate quite quickly so I thought if I get coasters and just use the excess paint on a coaster um, that way there it's not like I'm wasting it or collecting it too much so, and um, I'm also not going to do it one side, one side. I'm going to try and do it corner to corner. Try. Yep, I'm still recording. Sorry, I just have to check sometimes because it has stopped on me. You know, if I do it, just check just before I do a pour, then I know for sure. So no silicon, only flow troll and paint. So. Move on to kiss and let it run. So I'm not trying to mess around because I don't want them to mix. So I'm pouring them at a steady speed. So that black has gone and made that yellow slightly greenish, which is what I was worried about. So do keep that in mind. All right, I'm going to stop it there. So I just push the cups together and there's more paint left in these two as well. So I might use those on a coaster. Let's put them somewhere where they're not going to get in the way. Good. We've got yellow and purple. Well, orange and purple. It's probably got a bit more yellow in it than I was expecting. So I'm going to go up to this top corner. And I'm not really going to mess around. I think I'm best to just go over the corners and get it covered. I don't want the colours to mix too much. So up and over. Then I'm going to come back down. And over. Okay, bring the paint back to the middle. Now we're going to stretch it out this way. Over. I'm just going to bring the canvas back to here, so the paint's in the middle, and then I'll spin it around so you guys can see. And I've got yellow fingers, so I'm going to grab this corner, which is a yellow corner while I've got a yellow finger. When I get purple fingers, I'll do those two other corners, which are more purple. So where's my paint here? It's feeling quite heavy, so the must the paint must be relatively thick because the weight you can definitely feel the weight on it. Oh, come on! Over you go. Excellent. Then I'm just bringing the paint back to the middle. I have to spin it back around. I have to look at... It's one, one little thing I have. i got to see things from what I call a front. Or what I call the right way up for me. Later on once it's done I might 
rotate it back the other way. But for me to see the comp composition of the painting, I've got to have it the way that I think it is. Um, again, I really don't know what else I can do. I don't want to pour off that corner, which has got the nice purple. I don't want to pour off this corner, which has got some nice um, lines, mixing of them. And same with here, I don't want to pour this corner off, because then I'm going to get rid of that purple line and change that. The only thing I could do is pour it more this way, but I'm not really going to change much apart from get more of this purple off and then try to bring it back again. And I'm liking it how it's... There's a lot of orange and yellow, but it's actually not overtaking. The only one thing I could say is, I think if my paints were slightly thinner, I may have got a little bit more of these um, little dibbits where the yellow and the purple go together. So it happened down here and across here, but not so much here. You can see it there, but it hasn't really done... Um, as much where the purple goes into the yellow and the yellow goes into the purple. I'm really, really liking this, but I think this has got good, good character into it. I'm, I may actually tip a little bit more off here, or at least move it. And then bring it back. So all I'm doing is kind of just moving the paint around a little bit and seeing if I can stretch some of these little effects and lines out without changing the pattern too much. If you look like you're altering anything down the bottom here, stop. And I'm going to come back again. So all I did is just stretch these lines out a little bit more to give it a bit more definition. But I'm going to leave it as that because um, let me take my gloves off and then I can actually point. <clears throat> so all four corners have got paint on them. Yes. I'm really pleased this has turned out the way I wanted it to. I wanted orange and I wanted purple. And I didn't want mud. Even though over here they blended a little bit, it hasn't really become muddy. It's just kind of changed the tones of it. But the yellow and the orange um, have got real cool... Well, it's not a ring pour, so they haven't got rings, but they've got blends where the colour kind of goes into each other. And then it comes more creamy over here, which would be... Maybe the white is mixed with some of the the oranges and yellows and kind of made a nice creamy color and the purple's good the purple doesn't have as much definition with the rings but that's why it's good that a lot of it is kind of off into the corner so you've got the definite rings here and you've got some through here and that but it's not as pronounced so by pushing that back and leaving the yellow to dominate the middle it still gives you the effect of the purple and the yellow without having the purple overpowering and this having this nice purple corner is really cool. So ultimately, I don't think I would want to change this anymore. And by tilting it and pouring it and trying to do different angles, sometimes all you do is muddy it up. And I don't want mud. And especially with colours you know will turn to mud easily. You've got to sometimes proceed with more... Um, just don't be so hasty to go, I'm going to keep tilting it this way on that way. Because the more you do tilt colours that muddy it up together, the more they are going to go muddy. And they'll do it just because you don't want them to. <laughs> it's not like the paint is being spiteful. It just, the colours want to, the paint will want to blend if you keep moving it around. So... Just making sure that we scrape these corners. But this here, well, it did feel quite thick. Which is probably a good thing. So they didn't 
blend into each other too much. So I have to clean my tools off as I go because I like, I know my workspace isn't perfectly spotless, but the cleaner you keep it as you go, the more chance you're going to have of not ending up with everything with paint and uh, a mess. Because we are working with paint here, it quite easily can turn into a mess if you allow it to. So these cups here are pretty cool. So there's a little, enough left in those to do a coaster each. So a yellowy one and a purple one. Or I could even do a kiss on a coaster. We'll see. I'm going to bring you down for a closer look. But fantastic. I got the exact colour. So that is what I was hoping for when I did this Infinity Pour. I wanted it to be orange and purpley. But it actually became that very... This warm yellow which is kind of an not an orange not a yellow and very bluey i didn't I, I like this still but i didn't really get the colors i wanted and that's the colors i wanted so super happy because i have done a couple of purple and oranges before and i mixed blue with it and i found the blue took over so let me pause it and there we go this is what i see from my angle i think that's pretty groovy love these colors together so i'm going to do this again another time probably mix it a little bit different and maybe try to get a little bit more of this type of pattern in it where it kind of fizzled out here but i still got nice colorings through there so it's not bad i just wouldn't mind more of these fingers that go into each other that way and that way but overall super pleased so if we come down to the corner here you can see it's nice like pale creamy colour which is the white with the um, yellows and then the blue runs through it. You come down here you've got a cell pop up here and there which is just what it does. Purple fingerlings with yellow and then definite colours going in and see how they didn't go muddy? Perfect. See the blue or the purple does have patterns in it but it's just it doesn't look as pronounced from a distance as this does here with the yellows and oranges. And in the camera that looks blue, but that's actually a nice purple. Can we focus? Okay. Excellent. So this was fun. And I'm pleased because it, it actually did what I wanted it to. So, like normal, um, subscribe if you haven't already. Share, like, leave comments and tell me what you think. Um, do you love these colours together? Because um, I do. <laughs> Have fun everyone and I will see you tomorrow. Enjoy your night. Bye.